justin trudeau simply cannot continue to govern this country now that canadians know what he has done and that is why i am calling on mr trudeau to do the right thing and to resign further the rcmp must immediately open an investigation if it has not already done so into the numerous examples of obstruction of justice the former attorney general detailed in her testimony the testimony canadians have just heard from the former attorney general jody wilson raybould tells the story of a prime minister who has lost the moral authority to govern a prime minister who allows his partisan political motivations to overrule his duty to uphold the rule of law. A Prime Minister who doesn't know where the Liberal Party ends and where the Government of Canada begins. And a Prime Minister who has allowed a systemic culture of corruption to take root in his office and those of his most senior Cabinet and Public Service colleagues. Like many of you, I listened carefully to the testimony of the former Attorney General. And like you, I was sickened and appalled by her story of inappropriate and frankly bordering on illegal pressure brought to bear on her by the highest officials of Justin Trudeau's government. All to let a liberal connected corporation off the hook on serious corruption charges. Before Ms. Wilson Raybould's testimony, Canadians knew Justin Trudeau had engineered an unwanted, sustained, and coordinated attempt to get Ms. Wilson Raybould to change her mind and to stop the criminal trial of SNC Lavalin. Today, thanks to Ms. Wilson Raybould's testimony, we now know just how intense those efforts were. Ten meetings, and ten phone calls involving 11 senior government officials relentlessly targeting Ms. Wilson Raybould over a four month period with the sole objective of bullying her into bending the law to benefit a well connected corporation. The details are as shocking as they are corrupt. Multiple veiled threats to her job if she didn't bow to their demands. Urgings to consider the consequences on election results and shareholder value above judicial due process. And reminders from Justin Trudeau to his Attorney General about his own electoral prospects should she allow SNC-Lavalin's trial to proceed. As Ms. Wilson-Raybould has so clearly articulated, the people Canadians entrusted to protect the integrity of our very nation were instead only protecting themselves and their friends. Let me close by saying that we have entered the final stages of Mr. Trudeau's government. He can no longer, and in good standing, with a clear conscience, lead this nation. As we enter a critical budget debate and with other pressing matters of public interest in need of action, Mr. Trudeau's cabinet must now find a way forward without him, and I urge them to do so. They have a duty to govern this nation, not help a disgraced Prime Minister hang on to power. But my message tonight is this. It shouldn't be this way in Canada. And it doesn't have to be this way in Canada. We should be a country where all are equal under the law, where nobody, regardless of wealth, status, or political connections, is above the law. And I believe we can be that country again. What we just heard today was explosive testimony. This was unprecedented. I believe Ms. Wilson-Raybould if anyone heard her testimony, they would believe her as a credible witness who provided insightful, thoughtful, measured comments. The comments all point to the fact that the Prime Minister and his office were disregarding the law and willing to politically interfere in the prosecution of executives for a massive powerful corporation. This all points to a government and a Liberal government and Mr. Trudeau, the Prime Minister, who are more interested in helping their powerful friends than they're helping everyday Canadians who are struggling with housing, the cost of medication, the cost of living. This is unprecedented testimony that bolsters our argument and our call for a public inquiry. At this point, Canadians demand 
some answers to the questions that they have. And the only way to get to the bottom of this is a public inquiry that would have independence to assess the truth.